Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, guys, basically, I'm going to be talking about your branding for your channel or anything like that. So, let's get into it. So, basically, this is my channel customization for my Quix channel. If you want to go subscribe to it, subscribe to it. It'll be linked in the description of this video. That is my commentary channel. So, if I go ahead, go to YouTube... This is my branding right here. Um, you know, we got four subscribers. I really th liked the idea of having um, stars in the background and then just simple text. So basically, this is what I'm going to be doing for that. So, basically, first you're going to want to type in canva.com just like this. Uh, the link for that will also be in the description of this video. But then you're just going to want to, after you sign in and do all that, you're going to want to hit create a design and hit logo. And then it'll bring you to this page, okay? So, I'm just going to search up stars. Actually, sorry. I'm, it'll bring you to templates. I'm going to search up space. And then we're going to see if we can find any space themed with the stars in the background. You're going to want to go for a minimalistic design. Um, you're not going to have it too complicated because then that might look bad. And I don't have the pro version, but it, this is completely free. I don't have the pro version. But if you do want to buy the pro version, that is completely up to you guys. But we're going to search up stars. See, just like this, this would be a perfect thing to add for my branding. So my branding is based around commentary, so, um, and I just really liked the idea of stars. But I want it minimalistic, but also to represent my branding. So I want my name to be in there, and then I want something in the background. I already have that background thing down, but we also need some text and a font, that kind of thing. So, but I am going to go to elements, and then type in shapes, which that comes up with all these different shapes you can choose from. See, there's different colors for this guy, so if I make this bigger, what I can do with some shading here, I can click on it, click the darkest one to be whatever color I like, that kind of thing. I can have a black outline, the second darkest one, to be a dark blue, and then the main color to be a light blue. That's all up to you, just like that. Or you can go with just a minimalistic circle, just like that. Personally, what I like, what I like to do is get my circle in, whatever size you like, and then copy and paste that with Control C and Control V, and then make that color just a bit lighter and off-centered, just like that, to have a shaded circle just like that. I think that, personally, I think that looks very nice. And, and then you can center it, so then it is completely centered, just like that. And then you can hit text, add heading, or click any of these um, things. But I'm actually going to go to Canva and see. This is my current logo that I currently have for my Quix channel. Just like this. It is super minimalistic, and I don't even know if I really like it. Just like that. Uh, it's Norwester. So, this is the font that I'm going to be using for today. It is going to be this one. Just like that. We're going to head in with a black one, then we're going to copy and paste that same thing, and then change it to white. Oh, sorry, no, this one's going to be black. Well, we have that now. Okay, hold on. It's all going to be completely black. Just like that. And then we're just going to copy and paste this once again. And then change it to white. And then have some sort of like drop back. As you can see, the white looks like it's more forwards and off of the thing, which gives it more depth. But if I go like this, or like this, sorry, to make it match with the shading on the edge right there, it makes it look more 
more uh, efficient and honestly just real because like the shading on the edge matches with the text. But you could also go like this, just like that. But I'm going to go to effects and see what else we can have. See, as you can see, we got this one, which in my opinion does not look that great. And you got this one, which uh, changes the, that color. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you got that effect, which is like kind of like some sort of ghost effect. You got lift, which basically just gives it a shadow, which could be good for this as well. You can have your artificial shadow and then your effects shadow as well, which I think looks really nice. You could have glitch. That may look cool with your branding. Glow. Whatever honestly fits you. See, I could grab this black one, give it a neon, and then boom. I could say that I'm done right there. But... See, like, you do, whenever you, especially whenever you make a channel, you're not going to want to, um, you're not going to want to do this instantly. Uh, so, like, worry about posting videos before you start to worry about posting or, like, making logos and stuff, since bigger YouTubers and stuff like that posted... Um, videos before they decided to make get all this branding done that type of stuff you could go with the uh, branding uh, like way of doing it but in my opinion it honestly looks best or uh, your content should be more important than your uh, branding See, now, what I'm going to do is, but let's, let's just continue with the video. Okay, so right here is it without, with just the, uh, art of, like, the effects. Now, if I drag in this black one right here, and drag this here, and have the effect on, it just looks so good. But, I can also go to effects, hit offset, make whatever I want, and then direction can be in this direction because the shadows in that direction for make this off centered because the shadows in a different direction and then boom all we have to do is just highlight oh all we have to do is just highlight it Just like that, you can honestly do whatever you want with it. Boom. That looks good on its own right there. Personally, I would stop here, but you can go the extra mile and add some elements. Like, let's, let's search up. Search up lightning. And you got all of this. You can add in some lightning photos, just like that. And you can also get um, photos from uh, anything else as well. Like, you can uh, download them and do all that. So, like, watch. Uh, backwards. Backwards. See? And backwards. That looks quite cool. I'm actually going to go with it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste another one and turn it this way. Make it a bit bigger. And then go position backwards, backwards, backwards. See, so, you know, do whatever you want with it. Personally, I don't really like that, so I'm not going to go with it. But, yeah, that's always up to you. And then once you want to download it, you can hit this download button up here, upload it as a PNG, a PNG, GMP, 
uh, MP4 video or a GIF. I recommend do if you have animating stuff, um, you can do all that. See, this is what it looks like on a business card. But then you're just going to want to save it into whatever file you want. I'm going to save it into here. Quicks logo. And then it clicks logo, just like that. Then we're going to head in my clicks, and banner is also a completely different story. Look up videos on that and stuff like that. But now this is how you change it. You're going to want to go to customize channel or custom custom channel customization. Go to branding and change logo, and scroll down to your logo that you like that or that you would like. Now you just hit publish up in the corner. Boom. Now I can reset all of this. And boom, my new logo has been applied. Now if I hit that, boom. Also, another thing that you could do instead of customize channel and then go to branding, you could just click on your little profile picture right here and it will just be just as good. Take it to the exactly the same thing. But um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to slap that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to the Quicks commentary channel because, you know, uh, posting... Um, content like uh commentary obviously and then i posted a uh parody of ksi's holiday so go check that out anyways i hope you guys like this video peace out and good bye